Hey there, it's Ann Carden here, and I want to talk to you if you're a marketing agency, a coach, a consultant who would like to build your business to a million dollars and beyond. I want to share with you how to build an expert business to get bigger financial leads, simplify your business, be able to stay more focused, and build a business that actually is very rinse and repeat and scalable, and it can bring you higher profitability and revenue. So the first thing I want to ask you is how scalable is your business? A lot of times when I start working with marketers or coaches and consultants, I see that they're kind of all over the place. They offer a lot of different types of services, maybe a lot of a la carte kinds of services. They offer a lot, they work with a lot of different types of clients. They do a lot of very custom work and this all makes it really difficult to have a scalable business. And so this is the very first thing. How scalable is your business? Now, the way that I have found to be the fastest path, the thing that I've been able to help do in my own business and help my clients with, is to focus on one core offer that you can be a rock star at. So, one core offer will simplify your business, and you can actually build off of this offer and have different layers, but I wanna talk about high ticket. So pick one thing that you are so great at, that you're brilliant at, that you can build your whole business around, and then from there you can actually back build and have different tiers. So a good example of this was, let's say for example you do, you're really good at SEO, you're good at Google AdWords, you're good at uh, web design. How can you now maybe package those things together and create a great offer that's high ticket that you can go and sell and you can build your whole business around just that. And then maybe you can have a second tier where it doesn't include all of those things. And then you have a third tier where maybe it's just one piece of that. And so you see you can actually back build so that you can still monetize maybe the people that can't afford your high ticket offer. So you can offer just different pieces of that. but. Ultimately, you become the expert for that one thing. So let's say, for example, you decide to build your entire business around helping people bring in clients from being at the top of Google and getting the phone to ring, and it's all how you structure and package this, right? So you build your whole business around that. And let's say that offer is $50,000. That's your high tier offer. How many clients do you need to, to get at $50,000 to get to that million dollar mark? Well, you only need 20, right? And if you think about it, that's less than two clients a month to go and sell your $50,000 offer. But now let's say that maybe they're not in a place where they can buy the whole thing or they don't need the whole thing. Now, how can you maybe have an offer that's 25,000 or even 10,000? And you can down sell from there and structure those services so that most people can afford your services. So again, you're monetizing people, but you're still giving them what they want and need. Or you can offer things in phases. Maybe phase one is this, and phase two is this, and phase three is this, but you're still selling one offer. Do you see how this works? All right, the next thing is to make sure you're focusing on one niche. It's so much easier to have one niche than to go out and try to get multiple people for your for your services. So let's see, I'm gonna keep, stay on the SEO thing. So let's say you're an SEO company and you, but you help with everybody's SEO, right? Well, you're not going to look like the expert. If you're talking to me about SEO and I'm a consultant and this person over here says they're, a, they're an SEO expert for consultants and you say you're an SEO expert just for small businesses, who's going to look like more of the specialist? The person that says they're SEO for consultants, right? And that's the person I would most likely go with. And they would probably have credibility built up in that space or in that niche. So how can you do this too? You can do this with any type of business. Let's say that you can do it with IT, right? So you can go target IT companies and become the specialist for SEO for IT. Now again, this is just one example, you, but you can do this with anything that you offer that you are brilliant at, that you're a rock star at, and that's what I'm talking about. Build your business around something that you're so good at and it's so duplicable that you can get faster traction in your business. So one core offer, high ticket, back build from there, one niche. The third thing is you need one great lead gen uh, process. 
Now, that doesn't mean you only ever do one great lead generation process. You might, it might be enough, okay? It might be enough to build your business to that million dollars and beyond, or you may have to layer on a second uh, type of lead gen system or a third. But here's the thing, start with one. Find one way to bring in all the leads that you want, and then from there, as your business grows and scales, you can add on. So a good example of this would, would be, let's say you're going to target IT companies, right, for your SEO. And now you can actually email them, you can reach out to them on social media, and you reach out to them with some sort of an offer, and you do that consistently, and you're going to get those clients because you're going to be establishing that expertise in the IT space, right? And think about how much easier it is to go find them, right? You're not all over the place trying to just figure out who needs SEO. You specifically target them, you create a campaign that makes a great offer to them, and you start bringing in clients for that. The other side of that is you're going to get really good at helping IT companies with their SEO. And this is the other side of scaling a business is you want to stay profitable, right? And you want to keep your business streamlined and systematized. And so you'll be able to do this much more effective if you are actually uh, getting more efficient at what you're doing. It's actually going to add money into your pocket, into your bottom line. So one great lead generation system, and then you can add on. So maybe you're reaching out by email or by uh, social media and you're reaching those people and you're bringing in leads but then you want to keep scaling your business now you might decide to go out and actually be a speaker to uh, you know get on stages where IT companies are right where the the decision makers are and you can talk about how different your services are and how you're the specialist and how you're the expert and that's what I'm talking about building an expert business the fourth thing you need is you need a great sales process. And think about it again. If you have something so streamlined and so simple, it's very easy to build a sales team to go out and sell that one thing. And you're working with one process. If you're asking a sales team to go out and try to sell multiple things, social media and logos and design work and SEO and a lot of agencies are trying to do everything, digital marketing, they're trying to do everything. And how do people know how to sell that, right? It makes it very difficult for your team to actually be able to bring in business. But when you keep your business super streamlined and simple, now you can actually systematize the entire business, the entire process. And do you know what that means for you? Number one, it means higher profitability. Number two, it means more traction in your business, making faster leaps. And number three, it means freedom for you. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a comment, let me know, and I will be talking to you next time. Build a great business. Bye-bye.